so we discuss a lot but our investigation is still going on so on one hand we have cloud trail which tells us who is doing what and on the other hand cloud watch tells us why something is going wrong and these two might appear to be similar but if you look at the bigger picture both of them help us in very different ways so let's see what exactly each of them has to offer so if you see both the process diagrams uh, both of the services appears to be similar considering the pillar structures with cloud trail if you see we have capture store act and review so where we actually capture the logs based on the api calls made in the aws account and we store them in s3 which we can make use for creating cloudwatch alarms and events in the act phase and the same data points can be used to analyze using aws athena but most importantly we use cloud trail for auditing and that's why it is mentioned here aws cloud trail is a service that enables governance compliance operational auditing and risk auditing of your aws account remember this very carefully of your aws account i'm repeating this like i have repeated this 10 times i think but just try to remember this with these audit process you can measure the integrity of the data and the process that is being followed and the operational audit is something that we use in all fairness when we have a network in place so just remember that the aws cloud trail is a service that enables governance compliance operational auditing and risk auditing of your aws account on the other hand we have aws cloud watch so aws cloud watch collects monitoring and operational data in the form of logs matrices and events and visualizes it using automated dashboards so we have already covered cloud watch so if you haven't seen that video then i would request you to please watch it and it's rightly a monitoring service for aws resources and application whereas cloud trail is a service that records api call events in the aws account so that's one of the biggest differences that we have here so the difference is rightly visible here as well like understand one thing very clearly if i ask you i need some information about how the application is performing in an ec2 instance you will tell me for sure that i'll have a cloudwatch integrated and i'll make use of the cloudwatch logs and the event matrices and i will show you how it is performing that's what your answer should be or it will be but on the other hand if i ask you i need to see what are the operations being performed by the users and what are the activities going on in our aws account so here you will tell me that i have the cloud trail data and i can show the operational status of our aws account for any time period that you want so that's your valid response isn't it and that's the difference which each of these services provide so i hope you are getting the point here if i ask you can i use cloud trail for hybrid architectures you might get confused isn't it but if i ask you this about cloudwatch so you'll be very sure you can use cloudwatch monitoring on on premises as well isn't it but having said that we can use cloud trail on on premise by using third party aws partner applications and that's the actual point here so remember that CloudWatch is used for analyzing application logs, whereas CloudTrail is used to analyze the information on what is going on in your AWS account. So I hope you are clear with this.